and welcome to Take Me Out, the show where our single boys battle it out desperately to spend an evening in Shifter's nightclub. Could they have an ulterior motive? Could it have anything to do with this lot? It's time to bring on the girls! I mean, he kind of he explained it. There's a bunch of girls. They're the same every episode. Um, and then... Uh, and then there's guys who come up and essentially audition to date the girls, and then they kind of deal or no deal whether or not they want to, whether or not they want to um, go on a date with a guy. Oh yeah, forgot about the copyright music. Do 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 do. He's the man eater, make it work. Okay, alright, we really gotta get to our get to our stand Take here. Take me out time, 30 single ladies. Hi girls! Hi! Will you ever make another type of bingo? Maybe. Or a different type of game. And then the question about fact or fiction, probably not tonight, but we will again. Hey. Hi Ray. Uh lo loads of beautiful single ladies all looking for one thing. A man. Uh, not the same man, Okay. Uh, hopefully. Let's have a chat with our girls and see what's going on with them. Amber, welcome to Take Me Out. Thank you. Hi, Ray. Uh, where are you from, Amber? I am from Dublin. From whereabouts? Yeah, inner city. Inner city Dublin. Yeah. Okay. And tell us about the kind of man you're looking for, Amber. Uh, a hunky one that can hold me in his arms. A hunky one who can hold you in his mm. arms. All right. Mm. Um, any kind of does he need like a lot of girls kind of say they need to be a football player or a rugby player. Or... Um, has a nice car. A nice car. Yeah, rich and has a, a nice, nice car. car. Rich and has a nice car. Yeah. Rich and Amber, has a nice that's car. That's totally going to happen on this show. <laughs> <laughs> we got Julie and Maeve, our sisters here. Ladies, you're both here together. You're both looking for Mr. Wright. Wait, is there really frequent flashing in this show? I like didn't. I don't like register it. Where is it? Just like in the interstitials, or what happens? If the right guy for both of you walks through those doors, well, we'll see who we'll have takes. to fight for them. So. What you'll, you'll have to fight for them? Yeah. Um, last week there was a bit of a situation where I think Mr. Wright did come out. Oh, did I go to the wrong season? Maybe it's not the same girls. Series four, no. And then the one we watched was. Hang on. Series four, yeah. Yeah. And then Maeve, you turned off Julie's light, and Julie, you turned off Maeve's. Now, that's fair not fair, fair. play. Uh, no. What happens if that happens? You know, is, is that going to happen again? Is it going to happen every week? No, we've had words. It won't happen again. Or, what kind of words did you have? Yeah, they're what the sisters. Julie was very disappointed. Because very her light was on. Disappointed, I've yeah. always wanted to date a Kerry footballer. He went off on a date with somebody else. He did. And the two of you were left standing here. So, yeah. what happens this week? Well, hopefully there's another... Kerry footballer. Well, we'll see how you get on, ladies, and I'll do my best for you. Give it up for our girls, everybody. All right. Ladies, are you ready for your first? Okay, people keep saying flash warning. Where are the flashes? Just so that I can, like, be aware of them. Because I didn't previously put... I, I didn't previously have a flash warning on the other episode because I didn't know. The background lights do it sometimes. That's more like it. Don't forget to listen to the music that our boy walks on to because he's chosen it all by his echo self. Uh, if you're ready, so am I. It's time to bring on the boy! Oh, yeah. Um, all right, we got, you know, all the small things true care, truth brings. All right. the show sir what's uh, up introduce yourself to our ladies cool hi girls my name's christian i'm originally from south africa but now i live in dublin can i put it in can i put it on the screen uh yeah i can put it on the screen i i guess i'm i'm not i yeah i, I can put it on the screen i just don't know what what counts you know what i mean because no one mentioned this in the previous episode, so I just like don't know what to look for. Um... Right. That's Chris.
Listen, ladies, you turned on or turned off. Oh, not bad. Oh, Eleven. Yeah. Eleven lights gone. How are you, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm still here. Look at I'm I'm still in front of. Them. I'm not. I don't even want to date any of them, and I'm nervous. <laughs> I can only imagine how you feel. You stay there. I'll go and talk to our ladies and see what's going on. Orla, what happened? You killed that light on us. Oh God, yeah, you really killed me. Like I'm a hairdresser, and your hair and me would just be in competition completely the whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. My yeah. waves are mine, and I'm the best. So my I'm waves, room for you. Ma my Orla, waves though, are mine. As a hairdresser, you could you could style them whatever you, you want. Yeah. Ray, that's not Bruce Willis. Seriously. Oh yes, yeah. The, and there's only room for one. G Is there a way we could play an over under game with this? Probably. We'll we'll keep thinking on HD it. HD on the counter. No, I love it's my hair mine. too much. No, you love your hair too much, all right, yeah. no changes. Yeah, yeah. I like his hair. Chancel, what happened? Um, you look a bit like, you know, Justin Bieber. Do the shake, please do the shake, go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's no. Justin Bieber, is it? Yeah, he looks a bit like, just the haircut, like, it's really, sorry, you're not my type, really. That's cool. Bad. Oh, sorry. Bad? <laughs> you're not my type. <laughs> bad. Bad. That's grand. <laughs> and Shahira. Shahira, yeah. tell me why you turned off that light. He's very good looking, but he's a, a, a type. Um, kind of the rock music and that. I'm not into, I like rap. And, oh. And, I like rap too. And, uh, well, you didn't use a rap song. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the fringe again. The, the, it, the fringe. Like, it really suits you. You look really nice and you have lovely dimples, but it's just not my type. S. Cool, man. Fringe is not your thing. Katrina, it's we Draco lost you. It's Draco from Harry Potter. It's who? Draco from Harry Potter. Harry oh, Potter. Yes. Draco from Harry oh Potter. God, I didn't realize. Didn't you notice? Leave know your wand Potter. in your pocket. No. And okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> buddy. Keep it in your, well, well, look, he'll keep it in his trousers for you because you turned off your light anyway. <laughs> Chantel, we lost you as well. Ray, his jeans. How do you fit into them things? <laughs> jeans? <laughs> They're not even that tight. Come on. Come on. They're not even that tight. Easy. Look how skinny they are. Your legs look skinnier than mine. That's okay. totally in. Like, is it, are you just jealous of my legs? Is that what it is? C come on. <laughs> is there a rocket in that That's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. Loads of lights still left on, though. Neve, lights on. Yep. One word, right? One word. Tune. Oh, Blink-182. Tune. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Tune. Uh, Maggie, you're still in? Yeah, he looks like the cute blonde one out of Glee. Which one is that? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Cord Overstreet? <laughs> She's saying he looks like Cord Overstreet? The cute blonde one from Glee. Okay. <laughs> they all audibly went, no! Can you sing? I like her. Can you sing? Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. That, maybe. Huh. Maybe you'll find out. Oh, no. Okay, we'll see. Emma Marie, you wanted a dude who was different. Is he different enough for you? Yeah. You're awful cute. I have to ask, though, the Blink-182 song, all yes. of the small things, is there a hidden meaning? No, there's no hidden meaning. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> They're so horny, and for what? <laughs> there's been so many, like, so many uh, references. Um, innuendo. So many innuendo. <laughs> well, you never know, Emma Marie. You might find one of the small things a little bit later on. <laughs> well done, Christian. Thank nice right. result. 19 girls still in play. 19 lights still on for you. 30 seconds later, will they still be 30, on? It's called 30, 30, 30 seconds 30. later. Away you go, sir. And good luck. 30. Thank you. Rock your so best way to describe myself. I'm generous, kind, uh, loyal, and I'm a really fun guy to be around. Uh, I work as a full-time corporate entertainer performing close-up magic. Interesting. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> So, <laughs> He's a full-time magician. Uh, also, other than that, and everybody was like, "No." I play in a pop rock band. Other than that, oh, uh, I tour all over the place, so I've been able to. I like this guy. Okay. Go to many interesting, interesting places and meet a lot of cool people. Um, so the kind of girl that I'm looking for is, you know, still fun, outgoing, but not afraid to have adventure because I do like to travel. And that'll be cool. So if that's what you look. <laughs> not even a magician, a corporate entertainer who does magic. No, I mean like. It, people got to make a living, you know, and there's like a lot of money in corporate gigs. Comedians do them too, you know, like famous comedians do corporate gigs because they pay and, and it's hard to make a living. So I, I, I respect the hustle. Cool. I'm your guy. All right. Nice one. Ten girls gone, seven remaining. Christian, bye guys. Thank you very much. Bye guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye guys. Tasha was the first girl to turn her light off there. 
I was. What's the problem? I heard the accent and I thought, oh yeah, like I'll hear a bit more of that. But then he said he was an entertainer and I work as an entertainer and uh, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work <laughs> no. What do you Could do in entertainment, Tasha? I'm a comedian. Oh, right, okay. A very funny comedian. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh God. No, it's, oh God, they're even, <laughs> they even, oh, oh God. Never say you're a comedian out loud. Just, just, just a lie. Just lie. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> Naomi, what happened? You turned off your light there. That's a really cheeky, cheeky smile. Oh, what's just, up, Gabby? <laughs> absolutely gorgeous, but he's just not my type. What is your type? My type is big build, nice and stocky. Nice and stocky. You know, just... Just like, just real big. I can't even, I, look, I also need to put a warning about my Irish accent, which I'm working on. That's why I'm watching this show. Tanned. Oh, yes, I need him to be yeah, big. Like a, a chunky man. Chunky man. Okay, chunky man. Enough, Naomi. Yeah. No. That mic for the next round. Lindsay, you left your light on, though. Yeah, <laughs> someone said evil Adele. <laughs> yes, I like the whole Halen. The hairstyles are wild in this show. An interesting thing. I'm the musician. And the touring thing, because a guy needs to have his own thing going on. I don't want to have to look after him. But I have to ask. Yes. Do you dye your hair? No. Okay, that's okay then. Yeah. I like the Aryan <laughs> thing as well, though. What? No! Whoa, 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 whoa. So first of all, first of all, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh my God! Wait a moment. <laughs> Did he say he doesn't dye his hair? That was the wildest thing that just happened. That's what we all heard, right? That's what we're all freaking out about. Yes. Do you dye your hair? No. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we were all. Yeah, because that's what we were all. Not what she's about to say right now. It's okay then. Yeah. I like the Aryan <laughs> thing as well. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Marie, your light is still shining. Woo! Ah, we're just gonna move right on past that. <laughs> yeah, she said what you thought she said. Yeah. As well. I love magic. Cool. <laughs> I love Emma. That's awesome. Oh, Your light is still shining as well. I love magic. Cool. I love it. <laughs> well, it we'll see what you make in the next round then, Emma Marie. And Neve, your light is still on. Yeah, he's um, not my usual type at all, but completely winning me over with the personality and the traveling and the band interests. So, yeah. He's totally able for this lot as well, yeah. audience. What do you think? Yeah. I like, I like magic. I like. Okay. All right, Christian. Seven girls. One more round left. Right, right. You have a few magic tricks. Up oh, your we're gonna do a little bit of magic for you, right? Ladies, step away from those buzzers. Do you need? But do you need uh, <clears throat> a beautiful assistant? By any chance? I got one right here, dude. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a. <laughs> right. Right. This is what we're gonna do. He's a lighter, right? Okay. Watch like so. Right, you just check that out. Jesus. Yeah, I know it's weird. I know. Just calm down. Okay. So that's a sponge. We'll have a look. I haven't seen this, by the way. Is there any trap doors or anything there? Anything freaky about that the, at all? The ball. I'll show you what it does. Actually, yeah, we'll okay. do this. I'll just do this. There we go. You see that? That's amazing. So out of those two balls, right? Which one is his favorite? Which one's your? Do which you one's favorite? my favorite ball? Yeah. Which one's your favorite ball? <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a feel, Christian. Okay. What's your favorite? This one. Man, they're both the same, okay? Oh, okay. Here, you hold my balls for me. Hold them tight. Oh, okay. Tight, nice and tight. Okay. Cool. Nice. That's my finger, man. Okay. Okay, here's an invisible swat. It's an invisible ball. Put it right. See it go? Uh, no, Check wait. out your hand right there. Yes. Yeah, oh balls. my god. I've got three balls. You sure do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Calm down. On telly. Yeah, calm. I love how part of his crowd work is to tell him to calm down. <laughs> As if the man is like freaking out. Oh, you sure do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Calm down. Calm down. I'll do this nice and slow, right? I'll put one. Away yeah, they pocket, really are playing the Harry Potter music. One in my pocket, hand in my hand, right? Uh, one. No, that's three, right? Okay, I'll oh, do it okay, again. Right. One goes where? Uh, in your pockets. One goes where? Uh, in your hand. One goes where? Uh, in your pockets. How many in your hand? There should be one in your hand. That's three. Okay, I'll do Jesus. it again. Right? Ugh, that's amazing. I'll do it again. Okay, nice and slow. Bring nice your slow. Really slow. slow. Okay. One goes in. Yeah. My okay. Slow motion. Yeah. Wait. 
did he just say one goes in my butt? Like, one, he said it all slow. Really slow. Really slow. slow. Okay. One goes in yeah, my... Yeah, okay, slow motion. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I don't like to do the effects, you know? Okay. I'm, I'm trying to teach you how this works. You can actually see them going. You see that? You yeah. see them going? Yeah. yeah. It's like one a little in your So how many in my hand? There's one in your hand. There's six, man. Okay. Jesus, uh, that's okay. incredible. Well done. Yeah, pocket. Okay. Okay. I get... Of course he's saying pocket. He's putting it in his pocket. Let me... Let me imagine. So how no? Okay. I'm, I'm trying to teach you how this works. You can actually see them going. You see that? You yeah. see them going? I, I like the guy. Yeah. yeah. It's like no, a so how many am I? Okay, I guess Twitch chat doesn't like any fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm learning. Uh, that's okay. incredible. Well done. <laughs> so, um, if you like that, but I'll try something. Um, okay. I'm sure it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Ladies, is it a case of been there, done that, or... I will say he has had the best received performance of any any guy I've seen on the show. Or a case of go there, do that. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Right, Christian. Three, two lights still on. You've made it to the final round, so you'll definitely get a date tonight. Woo! <laughs> now... The power is in your hands. You've got one question for both of our remaining ladies. One question to decide who it is you'd like to take out tonight. Right. Um, <laughs> one question, fire away. Right, so girls, you know that I'm a kind of a master of wizardry. Uh, so my question is, um, how would you create a really magical night for me? Oh, okay. How would you create a magical night for Christian? Julie? Well, come with me and I'll show you the magic. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, this show is so horny, dude. It is so horny, like unabashedly so. Uh, Orla, what would you do? I think we could be magic, so you're gonna have to pick me. You think both of you together could yeah. be magic? Ooh, Low okay. effort horny, yeah. Uh, it's a toughie, that's Julie and Orla. Uh, right. Before you make your decision, Christian, I should tell you one of our girls owns a tinfoil bra. bra. One of our girls owns a tinfoil bra. Get out there and turn one light off and take one out. Audience, what do you think? Who should we take out tonight? They both basically just said we can be magic. Uh, do you have a tin bar? Do you have a tin for bra? Who could it be? Wow. That was kind of that was kind of mean. Oh that's it. Thank you very much. Awesome. How are you? You're heading off on your taste? Yep. Are you excited? Yep. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you that Orla is the girl with the tinfoil bra. And she can... What, actually, what, what it's is It's easier that? to get off. What, well, that's easier to get off. You can magic it away, I suppose. That's, that's the idea. Uh, Orla, what's the story? I made a book at this last year with loads of random stuff on it, and one of the things was to make a tinfoil bra. So what, it but it's not a kind of a mind-reading, aliens reading my mind thing or anything like that? No. So, you know, that, <laughs> no. That'll be on your head, I suppose. Yeah. yeah okay, fair enough. Oh, that's cool. Uh, listen, um... Maybe you'll see the tinfoil bra later. I, just, oh my, I, I, I don't know. know. I don't know. I, I can tell you, though, on your date tonight, you're going to be in the lap of luxury. But remember, no touching luxury, or her mind or Dave might get violent in shifters! <laughs> oh, yeah. So the other thing about shifters is that it's just a table backstage. <laughs> so let's... Hey. <laughs> okay, they really are just gonna play the song over it, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Because I loved the song choice and thought it was great. Okay, what I mean, I'm gonna try to. We'll see if this gets claimed, but they're playing all the small things in the background. And um, I loved his magic trick, it was brilliant, and I thought he had a great sense of humor. Well, it just seemed like a much more fun, outgoing person, you know, and it just seemed like she'd get on really well with me, so that's why I chose Ola. Alright, let's and settle in because we have so much more coming up for you tonight after this quick break. <laughs> But Christian worked his magic on Orla and they've gone off to shifters. But that means we get to welcome a brand new girl. Say hello, everybody, to Amy! Oh, Amy, what's up? Amy! Amy, hi! No, the girls go away after the date and then a new person comes hi. in. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thanks. You're single and looking for Mr. Wright. Yeah. 
What's he? Tell us, what are you looking for? Someone with a bit of meat on them, like a bit chubby, maybe. Chubby? Yeah. Oh, OK. So I look skinny. It's not very often the girls look for chubby fellas. Yeah, no, I like a bit of meat. OK. Yeah. And uh, kind of, you know, are you looking for someone who's a bit of a laugh or what? Yeah, someone funny. I'm not too fussy anymore. OK. Obviously. Okay, I'm not too what anymore? Who's a bit of a laugh. I'm not too fussy anymore, is that what you said? Laugh or what? Yeah, someone funny. I'm not too fussy anymore. Yeah, I'm not too oh, fussy. Obviously. Okay, that's why you're on TV. That's not working. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Amy, tell us, um, you've got a, a diploma in sign language. Yeah. How do you say take me out in sign? T. T. A. A. K. K. E. 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 And me is just me. Me. And like out is just like. Out? Yeah. Okay. T A K A. Me. Yeah. Out. All right. <laughs> Give it up for Amy, everybody. Welcome to the show. Okay. Yeah, the auto captions are struggling. And there's not regular YouTube captions on this either. Amy. Drop the beat and bring on the boy. Oh yeah, they always say bring on the boy and that's very funny to me. All right, we got the killer's plan. Is he going to be a killer? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. All right. Show sir, introduce yourself to the girls. He does look like Eli. He does look like Eli Manning. What the hell? Westmead. All right. That's Jonathan Gosier. Release the boy. Bring on the boy. Three lights gone. Three head cases flicking their lights. Uh, how are you? Not too bad now. Good. There's no uh, turning back now. Yeah, well, exactly. There's no, no going back. back. Yeah, the, the door's no. locked. Uh, the door's. You're, uh, you're a tall man. How tall are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's different. There's different sign language. Uh, like oh, gotcha. different sign languages. Yeah. Six four and a half. Six four and a half. You show off. Uh, right. Let me get and talk to the girls who turned off their lights. Uh, tall, dark, and handsome. Well, I think I've ticked most of those boxes. Michelle, what's the story? I don't want tall, dark, and handsome. I want ginger. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. You want short, stocky, and ginger? Yeah, and my best friends from Westmead, and they're all boring down there. They're all well. Boring. I'm only living there. Oh, uh, so she and it's still bored. <laughs> <laughs> Emma Marie, Damn. we lost. Like, imagine just being like, oh, you're from a town that's kind of boring, so I guess you suck. <laughs> she there as well. You are the spitting image of my brother. <laughs> it's creepy. It's really creepy. But I'm not your brother. <laughs> I, I don't care. Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Loads of lights left she has though. a point. Uh, Amber, what's the story? You left your light on. I don't know. I think he's tall, dark, and handsome. Well, he, well, he is. Well, he's, he's tall, yeah. dark, and handsome, yeah. I'd give him a go. Would you? Okay. It's wild to me that the phrase tall, dark, and handsome means a man with brown hair. <laughs> a whole white man with brown hair. Steady on now. Julia and Maeve are both <laughs> that is, this could cause That is forever weird to me. Ructions at home. <laughs> the two sisters may not end up talking Don't to each other. Don't buzz each other now. <laughs> no, listen. Fingers off each other's buzzers, so to speak. Uh, Julie. Julie. <laughs> Get your mind out of the corner. <laughs> uh, Judy, you're still in? Yeah. I like what you see. Fair enough. Can't say fairer than that. Maeve? Yeah. Handsome man. Okay. There could be competition here. There could be some the competition. Yeah, I okay. hope so. And Shahira, you're in as well. Yeah, he's very good looking. I picked out um, that shirt for my friend's best, my best friend's 21st there recently. So he's good ch taste in, uh, sh in shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's awesome. I just love that somebody could be like, I hate him because of the town that he's from, and somebody else is going to be like, I like his shirt. <laughs> he has good taste in shirts. Steal that shirt from my best friend. <laughs> oh, this is my own. I thought dark just referred to vibes. Maybe. Maybe it does. Theft. I don't know the actual origins of it, but I know it's not referring to skin tone. Jonathan, 27 girls. Light still on. That is a fantastic result. How will you get on in round two? What no, I mean brunette. Yeah, that's what I thought. At this. Ladies, if you think he's fit, keep her lit. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. So he's golfing and everybody's like, I hate a golfer. It's just wild the things that people will disqualify for, but it makes sense. Like, we all have our weird stuff, you know? Or not weird, we all have valid stuff. And then it became golf and we used to go out every Sunday and play and then... This is, they really are making it tough on me if I'm being honest. Because now I have to have Jason Mraz on in the background. And he want, I want to let him talk. That's probably what got me into Greenkeeper. And I'm working here in Killeen Castle now. 
I'm sorry. Lucky enough that I enjoy what I do. There's not many people ask, but there's more to it and everything healthy to it than that. Yeah, wait. I, I had to skip, I because I just know it's going to... I'm, like, risking a DMCA. Seriously? A blackout? Give him a round of applause, please. Really cool. Oh, I don't know anything about golf, by the way. It's bad for the environment. I... I, uh, did not know that. I guess, is it because of the, um... It's terrible for the environment, ugly waste of space. Because of all the, like, grooming of the lawn stuff. Water. Water usage. I've never golfed before in my life. So I don't know. I don't know the first thing about golf. I'm actually back. Come on. Oh, and he blacked out. Um, water usage is insane. Okay, well, that guy, un, un, like, I guess people really hated golf. They don't like golf. They, all... <laughs> they don't like golf. Last week's show, Simon hooked up with Michelle. Let's have a look and see how they got on. Hey. I'm learning a lot about uh, the environment right now. Thank you, chat. Well, when I commenced shifters and seeing Michelle really for the first time up close, I thought she was a really pretty girl, really beautiful girl, and she seemed like she had a very friendly past. Oh, this guy is from the last episode. Sure, and was looking forward to enjoying So they do do like a catch up. And uh, date with me. Simon's pretty shy. He's really soft spoken, kind of the opposite of me, but that kind of, you know, intrigues me. So. As long as I can keep on talking and there's no silence from him, it's, we're good to go. Yeah, this is shifters. It's turned out we, we actually live close together in Dublin, so it turned out we go to a lot of the same places uh, to hang out, to eat, have the same sort of tastes in eateries and that. On our date, we talked about things like family, friends, where we go out on the weekends, the usual Oh, for those unaware, this is helpful. To shift is Irish slang meaning to French kiss, in Dublin at least. Uh, we also have the word meat with the same meaning. Oh, okay. So shifters, it's like, oh yeah, it's like the French Kiss Lounge, <laughs> the, the the kissing booth stuff. I mean, I could really talk to a dead body, so his kind of shyness was hard to read. So I don't know the chemistry. Irish guys are really hard to read. So will I ask her out again? Well, hopefully, yeah. I think <laughs> I definitely will. She seems like a really nice girl. We don't really well. I'm not gonna say she's beautiful as well. Would I go on another date with Simon? Yeah, if he asked me, I would. But the likelihood of that happening, I don't know. Not so good. Okay, the next three minutes are all yours. We'll see you after this. <laughs> Girls got Tiger Woods flashbacks and our greenkeeper Jonathan double bogeyed. Let's see if our next guy does any better. It's time to bring on the boy! Oh, why? I was like, what even song is this? Okay. I actually don't know the song. Philip, and I'm from Dublin. Uh, introduce nice. yourself to the girls. Hi, girls. I'm Philip, and I'm from Dublin. I like his accent. Philip, ladies, are you turned on or turned off? We well, yeah, we, oh, someone already marked. Yeah, I was like, do we think, um, do we, oh, Tom Jones, okay. Uh, I feel like he's going to be pretty popular. All right, three. <laughs> the boy, oh, yeah, John Mulaney, that's gone. exactly what Philip, I was thinking of. 26 lights still shining for you, how are you? Oh, not bad, and you're right. Listen, I'm all right, I'm, I'm still in shock, actually, after the last one. You say there. And I'll go and chat to some of the girls who turned off their lights. Uh, I feel like he just needs, like, a necklace. I just want a necklace on him with all that chest he's showing. Debbie, talk to me. Why did you kill that light? Uh, hi, Philip. You're absolutely handsome. However, I don't know whether to <laughs> pet you or bottle feed you. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't he, like, 25? He just looks like a child. Listen, Philip, as long as you're not breastfeeding, it's all right. Uh, Chantelle, what's the story? Everything's perfect. Your clothes are perfect, but you just seem too overconfident for me. He seems too confident. Too overconfident, yeah. say, uh, what, Over, what? He just introduced himself. Did, did y'all get an overconfident vibe? 
I, I feel like he just said hi. I'm Philip or whatever. Everything's perfect. You hate right. it when a guy's confident with it. It's just. Uh, it's, I don't actually remember his age. Like... It just doesn't work. Of course not. No, you're you're absolutely right. Okay, uh, Shahira, your lights still on. Yeah, he's really cute. I want to see what he has to offer in the next round. I'm not a big fan of the song though. Oh well, look, I think he was probably saying that you know in a kind of uh, jokey way. Uh, yeah. Isn't a jokey way? Yeah. yeah. Be able to smile, you know. Yeah. Have a laugh. Uh, Tasha, your lights still on as well. Yeah, I was way too trigger happy the last time. I feel terrible. I just seen the golf and the grass, and I thought, Jesus. But um, no, no, I'll have to have a good reason now. And if I don't get a date by the end of tonight, I'm going to follow your man home. <laughs> <laughs> no, too late, love. I'm oh, following your man home. Hilarious. <laughs> Philip, 26 girls left. We're heading into round. I can totally see F boy vibes for sure. Two. 26 is a great score. Well, well done. done. Well done. Yeah. It's a great score. Will you score? No, will you? Uh, flirting for 30. 30 seconds to impress our girls. All right, girls, I'm a football coach with great ball control, and I'm sure I could teach one of you a few tricks. Um, I'm also a great dancer, so if you think you can, if you, if you think you can keep oh, up... Oh, I, can, I would not be able to keep talking through people, like, buzzing. I'm sure I can take you, blow you off your feet. Um, <laughs> whether, it's, whether it's fast moves on the pitch or on the dance floor, I'm your man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. Can I be honest? I like really struggle with his accent. What did he even okay. say? Wait, hold on. Okay, wait, let me pay attention. Let me pay I had an ADHD moment. Sorry. Okay, I'm a football coach, so I can teach some tricks. Alright, girls, I'm a football coach. Football coach. Great ball control. I'm great sure I can ball. teach one of you. Oh, ball great ball control. Okay. Here's okay. a few tricks. Okay. Um, I'm also a great dancer, so if you think you can, if you if you think you can keep up, I'm sure I can take it, blow you off your feet. Um, oh, okay. Whether it's whether it's fast moves on the pitch. Yeah, no, I just got the ball control thing just now, like for the first time. Turn on the dance floor, I'm your man. All right. Okay. Yeah. Too much um, innuendo. Too much innuendo right, just in general, four but. Lights off. Twenty-two lights. On and we lost four girls. Let me go and talk to the girls we lost. Judy, what happened? I think you're just a little bit too young for me. But my sister might take you out. Oh, I, maybe he is 18. How old is he? Or you might take her out. Sure, as young as you feel. You can be feeling me. <laughs> <laughs> Maeve, how young do you feel? Yeah, he's cute. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What happens now if you take him home and she's there? Everything Oh, always? 19? The ages on the show throw me off. It's like, People, I, it's like people just looked different in two thousand ten years ago. <laughs> well, yeah, we live together, so. Oh, you do live together, do you? Yeah. yeah. All right, okay, fine. But you, so you approve then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's a nice guy. Plays football. Fish. Fair enough. Nice one. Leanne lights out for you. What did he say that you didn't like? Uh, he's he likes to dance. I like a real man that's not really into dancing, like. Wait, why is everybody saying fish? I like a real man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to dance? Yeah, pretty much. You're a mad Michael Flatley fan, are you? <laughs> oh, the caption said fish. Yeah. Loads of lights on, though. Emma Marie, your light's still on. I like to dance. I'm that good of a dancer. I'm asked to leave the dance floor by bouncers. <laughs> Just put it out there. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing. A bad? Oh, you're talking about at the end of the night. Is it? No, I'm that good, as in sarcasm, mm -hmm. I have to be asked to leave the dance floor. Got Thank you for explaining sarcasm. <laughs> she's, she's iconic. I really must say. Uh, honestly... It, we love Emma Marie. It's a new concept to me, really it is. Uh, Stephanie, lights on. Yeah, well, I'm a pretty appalling dancer, so maybe you could teach me how to dance good. Maybe you could teach you a move or two. Maybe. Uh, uh, Amy Kay, lights on. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't, don't no. give him Dude, this would crush me. I okay. would be crushed. No, he is lovely, but is there any man hair? There any man hair? There is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'll have to wait and see you later. Tasha, lights on. Yep, he's not a me member of any Nazi party. He doesn't drown puppies. It's staying on. <laughs> Why are your standards that? He's not a Nazi, and he doesn't hurt puppies? <laughs> okay. That's what you and... think. 
<laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the bars and the <laughs> the bars on the floor, and the dude is like, "You'd be surprised." <laughs> Don't joke about that. Yeah, what did he just admit to? All right, Philip, twenty-two girls, twenty-two lights still shining for you, my friend. Uh, one more chance to impress. How many will still be on after this performance? Ladies, is he an itch you can't scratch, or does he tickle your fancy? Good luck, sir. <laughs> I forgot about the pew, 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 pew. Oh my god. When people. They premeditate. They like do it early. The songs, the backing track started, and then pew 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 pew. Oh. <laughs> Literally, he got like twelve, like twelve X's, like before he even started singing. My world is It's li this show is literally like, oh, you think he's hot? Well, now watch him sing, and then it, then it's like, ah, oh, God, he he's hot, but I, oh, I can't, I can't take this, I can't take it. Pew. You are the one, Philip. You are the one. Uh, <laughs> finally, we turn this thing around. Uh, okay, we got five lights still shining, but a few ladies flicked off their lights there. Let me go and talk to them. Or let's see, we lost you there. Yeah, like where he is, he's a bit of a dish, like, and he really is lovely. Like, and I kind of hung on to see what was on the menu, but at the end of the day, kind of didn't really tickle my taste buds. Oh, okay. Jenny, lights out. Um, well, I'm really taking one for the team here. I think uh, that uh, some of the other girls would actually really like a date with you, and I'm on the fence, so I'm going to better out. There are a few girls who want to go. I'm going to take one for the team. Sure. <laughs> okay. On a date with this guy. Uh, Linda, why are you gone? Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same thing. I don't really drink that much. Like, he's gorgeous. But I can just imagine you drunk singing that in my ear. <laughs> what? Did he ever talk about drinking? <laughs> Wait. sober and i have to drive you home and yeah it just wouldn't work out you're good it's like i don't really drink but i'm imagining that you drink and uh i can't have you singing drunk to me singer though really nice voice nice. good deep but she's deluded man <laughs> chancel you left your light on cute yeah are you any good with kids <laughs> Am I any good with kids? Yeah. Chancel, we're looking for a boyfriend, not a babysitter. <laughs> Tasha, your lights are on as well. I have six kids at home that need a father, so... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try over this side. <laughs> uh, Stephanie. I think he has just the right amount of confidence. I don't think it's cockiness. Fair play to when I No, no, she's the comedian. She's the comedian. She doesn't have, she doesn't have six kids. Get up and sign. Takes a lot. Nice fella, and he's got balls as well. Well, you mentioned your ball control. I, I think she's just doing a bit. I think because she, she was joking based on the other person. Oh, you're on. Uh, Rachel, you're like. I think. I mean, I think. Because she's also a comedian, you know? Exactly. A very funny comedian. I love the song twice. I love Johnny Cash. And he's re it's really funny. Well, you can't go wrong with Johnny Cash, can you, really, audience? Can you? No. Okay. Um, we have five lights still on for you, Philip, yeah. which means he's definitely going to date tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now, the power is in your hands. Get out there and turn off three lights. You need to leave on the two lights of the two girls you're most attracted to. Philip, good luck, sir, and away you go. Uh, audience, what do you think? Whose lights should he leave on, please? The lights he needs to leave on. He can start shouting any time now, lads. What do you think? Lights... Lights on. You've got to get rid of two more lights, please, Philip. And... One more light, please. One more light has to go, Philip. 
one line has to go, fill up, and then come back to me. Rachel's out of here. Nice one, Ted. OK, some great whittling there. Uh, you whittle it down to Stephanie and Tasha. Why do you leave Tasha's light on? Because she's stunning. She's stunning. And, and Stephanie? Because she's stunning. OK. See <laughs> answer above. Uh, to help you choose, you can ask our girls one question. Away you go, sir. OK, girls. Well, the last day I was on, the girl, um, let's say, uh, had gas. Oh, Jesus. You could say she had her own ring of fire. <laughs> If we were on a date, what would you do to blow me away? <laughs> That's funny, I guess. Oh, all right. So how did that work out for you, man? Not good. Not good. <laughs> uh, Tasha, away you go. Um, well, I once blew out 25 candles in one go, so imagine what else I can do. <laughs> Happy birthday, by the way, Tasha. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie. Um, I'm like a ticking time bomb. Come and touch me and I'll blow you away. Oh. <laughs> it, oh, interesting. I like wouldn't have guessed someone would compare themselves to a ticking time bomb. Yeah. I'm a ticking time bomb, and that's a good thing. Huh? Good luck. <laughs> you got two ladies, Tasha and Stephanie, there, but there can be only one. Uh, before you make a decision, I should tell you one of our one of our girls. <laughs> can fit her toes. Someone said Ireland produces the most horny people in the world. Is that, can any Irish chatters uh, <laughs> um, respond to that? In her mouth. <laughs> All ten of them, I wonder. Uh, get out there and turn one off and take one out. Who's it going to be? Uh, audience, who should he take on his date? <laughs> who's he going to take out? And who's he going to leave on the stage? Tell us. <laughs> Stephanie, you're like a ticking time bomb. Apparently. You are. Uh, I can tell you that Tasha is the girl who can get all of her toes in her mouth, so nothing's oh, wrong yeah. about that, man. <laughs> Such a uh, I should tell you, I should tell you, guys, guys, guys I'm, I'm so jealous. The place you're going. Yeah, I, are we going to gloss over the toes in the mouth thing? I missed it, and then he restated it, and now I'm grossed out. Is so sick. And I don't mean sick in the old-fashioned negative way. No, actually, actually I do. You're, you're going to shoot it! Oh, yeah. Forgot about this. Okay. Um. Yeah. I decided to leave my light on for Philip because he seems like a really nice guy. So I decided I'd give him a chance. Sure, why not? Yeah, I got myself a day. Yeah, she uh, seems like a nice guy. Oh, he's 21. Girl, you know? Okay. And uh, she's good looking too, you know, so see where it goes from there. Ray, let's have a look and see how they got on. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Not too bad. Oh, a drink ready for me. <laughs> My first impression of Forgot about was this that person. he was, you know, a real genuine guy, into sports, which shows, you know, determination and everything. Um, I kind of said from the start that I wanted a sporty guy. Um, you know, he didn't take himself too seriously in the show. He wasn't overly cheesy either. So uh, I really liked that. The first thing that struck me, she was uh, uh, very level-headed, very easy going, very easy to talk to for such a smashing-looking girl. On our date, uh, me and David spoke about, uh, you know, the whole Kerry Dublin rivalry thing, which was brilliant. Um, you know. Oh, what rivalry? All right, somebody who knows what they're talking about, tell he me. He didn't take it too badly that Dublin won this year, so uh, that shows he didn't take himself too seriously. Uh, there was it's a football thing. The chemistry between the two of us, I think, like, uh, well, she's very witty and very intelligent for such a broad, and she's obviously very gorgeous as well, so on that front, I couldn't have asked for more, and there was definitely a bit of chemistry there. On the date, there was definite chemistry between myself and David. A little bit of flirting going on. Um, I definitely like him. I think he's very attractive. And um, hopefully, we'll be seeing more of the same. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, I guess. Uh, Maria's out on a date again. She's obviously a very striking looking girl. And she's very down to earth as well. So, you know, so hopefully, um, we'll be able to spark something off later on. I admittedly have some trouble with some of these ass. All right, after the 
break, it's our last. And that's why we're here. We're here to learn. We're here to educate ourselves. Chance for our girls to get a date. This is an educational stream. It's only. I know. So we'll see you after this. Up our sex bomb Philip and our time bomb Stephanie. So that means we've got a brand new friend. Hey everybody, say hello to Kylie! <laughs> Kylie, how are you, buddies? I'm fine, Ray. How are you? I'm fine, Kylie. Where are you from, Kylie? Tyrone. Tyrone? Yeah. Tyrone. Tell me, I, a little birdie told me, Kylie, that Keith Duffy. Oh, Keith yes. Duffy is your ideal man. Yes, rough and ready. Must All right, who's Keith, Keith Duffy? Irish singer. All right, this is the ideal man. This is what this is what peak uh, the peak male uh, looks like. Muscles, tattoos, everything. <laughs> Are you a a boy zone fan? No. no uh, the video is eight minutes long. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's Keith himself. Yes, just himself. Or what about the waistcoats? Um, yeah, he's all right. He can carry them off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you want a, a, a big, tall man? Obviously, really, a really good actor. No. <laughs> just uh, he's just good looking. He's just oh, he's gorgeous. He's the man. He's the he's one just, that you want. He's just the man. Okay. Well, Keith's taken, but let's see. We if can we have can, a wee look alike. Yeah. We can get a close number two. That's right. Yeah. Great. Give it up for Kylie, everybody. All right. <laughs> all right. It's time to meet our next man. Are you ready, ladies? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes for one last time tonight. Let's bring on the boy! Oh, sorry. Is that a song? I don't... Welcome to the show, sir. Introduce yourself to our girls. Hello, ladies. My name is Aina, and I'm from Dublin. Aina from Dublin. <laughs> Girls, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> oh, no! I don't like that. I don't like it. It makes me so sad. Girls, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> he kind of looks like... <sighs> I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Girls... Do I want to say it? <laughs> He looks like John Mulaney had a baby with Eddie Redmayne. Maybe? No? Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Is it turned on or turned off? <laughs> they don't know what they're missing. Oh, okay. Damn. Don't say that. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Someone said, okay, that, I'm not going to repeat that. Just like 11 lights on. Uh, okay, uh, we lost 19. How are you, Pat? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling yeah? good. Yeah. Feeling good. All right. Okay, you stand there. Let me see what the girls were thinking when they turned off those. Ramsey from Game of Thrones? No. Uh, what was the song, by the way, Aina? It was uh, Fixin' to Thrill by the Dragonettes. Fixin' to Thrill by yeah, the Dragonettes. It's from a West Coast cooler ad, so. Oh, okay. Wow. You would have thought that would have worked with this lot. <laughs> uh, Joe, what happened? Lights out. I'm really sorry, but I just got reminded of Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Amy. Yeah, what's you say your name was? Aina. Oh, no. If it had been Trevor, maybe, but... Trevor, you... Sorry. Now they're just... His name? I'm saying Trevor's, Trevor's, yeah. Okay. You're Sorry, Trevor's. it's a personal I'm thing. I'm not gonna change the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, no, Sorry. personal thing, you know. <laughs> well, hang on now. I'm trying to... I feel she's just gotta be making that up. <laughs> So you'll only go out with a guy if his name's Trevor now, yeah. is that it? Yeah. This, is, this yeah. may pose a problem for the rest of the series, Amy. I know, sorry. So it, just... it has to be a Trevor? Yeah, it's just okay. a personal thing. You know? Fine. That means if I get a Trevor over the next eight weeks, yes. you're going on a date. Gonzo. Hello, <laughs> my name is Trevor. <laughs> Amy's and going on a date. Look out there. <laughs> Katrina. I have to say now, he's lovely looking, but when he came out, it was like he was on the catwalk for a drunk on disasters. Like... <laughs> <laughs> he was like... Mm -hmm. It's a matter we all see different things, isn't it? Yeah. Maggie, talk to me. Tell me why you turned off that Sorry. light. His trousers need a good tucking up. They need, you need someone to hem them. They're falling off you. That's if why he's on Take Me Out. Oh, yeah, I could have done it for you. 
Fashionista, yeah. Sorry. Listen, you can give him a good rate after the show. A good rate. <laughs> By that I mean price, OK? <laughs> Uh, loads of lights on, though. Loads of ladies still interested. Neve, you're still in. Yeah, I think he's uh, quirky. He's been misinterpreted as cocky, so I'll give you a chance. Please do. Why every... I, I, like, am not... My cocky meter is bad, because they keep saying that everybody's, like... <laughs> everybody's, like, overconfident. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, they literally just walked in and said their name. All right, dude. 11 girls left. Aina and ladies, <laughs> we want you to have a look at this. The question is, while you're watching, think to yourself, is he the news of the world? Or is he out of this world? Take a look. Well, I work as a as an outdoor professional, so I teach sailing and kayaking and that type oh, of thing. Cool. The adventurous side of, of my pastimes, they started off when I was in, in college in DCU. I joined a, a canoe club and then pretty much my entire career changed. Water sports is a big part of my life, like it's it's will take up a couple of weekends sometimes. I actually sailed to uh, Portugal there. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it was, it was a week to, to get across the street. I wonder why they don't like, I mean, it seems like he's got something going on, it seems interesting. Such a motion that we did. So yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I mean, you learn a lot about yourself when you're uh, when you're kind of sitting on the boat for seven days with two other people. I'm just looking for something. All right, give him a round of applause. <laughs> seven lights gone, four still on, ain't it? Uh, what were you going to be when you were in DCU? I was going to be an engineer, and then that just went out the window. How did you get, get into this? What happened? Uh, I joined the canoe club and met some people, and they sent me in a different direction. So. And this is your thing now? This is my thing, yeah. This is your living? That's what I do, yeah. Wow, hey. Um, the sailing off to Portugal looks, looks all right. It, 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 whenever the mood takes you, you just hop on the boat, and away you go. I just, you know, an opportunity came my way, and I just hopped on board. Sounds amazing. Right, stay there. Let me go and talk to the girls. Jenny, you're still interested? Yeah, because uh, he's got a cute little dimple. <laughs> the, cute, the cute little dimple? Aww. Yeah, I know. He's uh, the outer, outdoor sports and stuff that he has kind of an interest other than drinking and women. Yeah, kind of appeals it's to It's different me. anyway. Yeah. That the bar is so far down. He's doing a lot of heavy lifting, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Melanie, your light's still on as well. Well, the part that got me was when you were talking about how um, you learn a lot about yourself while you're out at sea. And as a neuroscience student, I spent a lot of time in my own head. And I just, I love that. All right, we got one, two, three, four lights on still for you, Aina, and you're going to put... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no. Will the girls keep him in the next round? Good luck, sir. Okay, I don't, is it out of tune? Like, it just doesn't sound good at all. He actually doesn't sound bad, like his voice, but the guitar seems, like, I don't know the song. But the guitar just sounds wrong. And if the music ain't good, it's just too bad. We're gonna sing along no matter what. Cause the dancers don't mind if it's New Orleans. If you hit them well, I make a cut. I love him singing about New Orleans. Yeah, that was... Did he... Do you think they set him up? Do you think they, like... <clears throat> he was supposed to have tuned to the guitar beforehand and they just, like, gave him... They just fucked it up? Come on, ladies! He said he was going to take your mama out. Uh, stay there, Raina. Let me go and talk to the girls. Melanie, you were the last girl out. You were, you were hanging Again. in there. You were hanging. What happened? I'm a heartbreaker. Um, it, as soon as the guitar came out, I tried to give it a chance, but um, I realized he's everything that I always fall for. And I'm kind of here to be looking for somebody else. That's. So the guitar playing dude isn't for well, you? Well, it it's engineer and. Yeah. Potentially very bright and all that, and just. What does she mean? I don't know. I guess I'm just trying You're something different because it, it hasn't worked. Oh, she's like date, dated engineer musicians before. Worked before. Yeah, well, fair enough. If you've been burned before, it's time to find somebody new. And. Nave, things were looking so good. I know, they were looking so good and everything, and uh, I'd still really like maybe if we could swap some water sports uh, ideas. Maybe you might teach me how to sail sometime, but uh, definitely as a date. Uh, 
a little bit too young for me. But otherwise, great else. guy, great guy. All right. Uh, give him a round of applause, please, people. Yeah. I'm sorry, Anna. These things do happen. Don't worry about it, man. Give it up for Ada, everybody. All right. The episode is over. That's all we've got time for. Tonight we messed up Christian and Orla and Philip and Stephanie. Join us next week and we'll find out how they got on and who else will be getting it on. We'll okay. All right, buddy.